So we've spoken about community, open source, but what are some other things that were very important to you? Well, when we're moving all the workloads to the cloud, on virtual machines or containers or any other virtualized factor, just one word, security. Companies like Workday, that we have a very, very confidential information from our customers, the most important part is security. We need a technology that is going to give us all the granular on security policies for our uh, tenants and their workloads. Open control fits perfectly. They give us a very good level understanding of all the communication between different virtual networks inside of the cloud. And we can actually, from a control plane, understand exactly what kind of traffic is being accepted and rejected. And we can actually prevent, prevent everything on the network, attacks or actually some tenants trying to send some information to another tenant that they shouldn't. So it gives you a very good visibility. Yeah, so you know, even when we were taking a look at security in the overlay or security on the SDN, we wanted the same kind of model that we had echoed into the cloud exactly. as we had in bare metal. Right. So obviously when you go to a virtualized infrastructure, you're cramming things on the same physical hardware. We wanted the multi-tenancy to be echoed down to the, the network layer because that's what we've done traditionally with bare metal. So looking at open contrail, we were able to use MPLS and BGP, just common protocols with an SDN. So we had the automation around actually getting this infrastructure on the ground, but we could actually provide per VM multi-tenancy and have this echoed up to the tenant level inside um, OpenStack. So looking at a tenant, you know, dev, we had a functional environment dev or QA or stage. We could actually have them co-located on the same hardware, but have them in different security or different secure networks. And this was incredibly important to us. So is, was that also something that you guys had to take into consideration? Yeah, exactly. When we started with, uh, with the solution, we wanted to build kind of a virtual private cloud and we wanted to isolate the customers. And Open Contract provide us exactly what we need. You have isolated each traffic in tenant and you don't care what's, what's, what's the underlay because nobody can get outside of, of the tenant. and. You can separate them and even for our enterprise customers, we can offer them the L3 VPN, even eVPN, so layer two connectivity from their office to a virtual machine inside of the cloud, which is it's great. And even, you know, it's a bad experience. So if you go to the public cloud, you have VPC in, in AWS, you have this kind of virtual private cloud technology, right, where everything is segregated by tenant. So I think it was important to be able to create for users of a public cloud, create that same experience on the private cloud, so people could actually understand, you know, the constructs if they were familiar with working in public cloud coming back, and that was something we had tried to model. So in AWS, we had VPC, so we had VPC on private cloud as well, which was incredibly important in creating a consistent experience for our users across cloud provider. So I know, you know, moving forward, taking the security, uh, you know, looking towards the future you know, implications. You've got this network, you've got this SDN and this uh, automation at your fingertips. Uh, looking towards the future, IoT has become a big thing and I see, uh, you know, the smart cars, the smartphones, the smart homes. Have you seen anything, you know, to be able to put together these pieces and actually provide a solution with Open Contrail to solve the networking problem in these cases. Yeah, this is uh, exactly what, what we wanted to do, be able to build to end-to-end -end solution where you can put the part into lamp on the street, uh, on the city, and second part is, is on the cloud. And we connect together these open source solutions, and then we had to figure out how to provide this separation, multi tenancy automatic connection of these networks, no manual configuration of static VPNs, but automated solution. And th this is exactly what Open Contrail provides us. So now we have a gateways, which can be a small board with Raspberry Pi, where you can start the container, the Docker container, for service with reading data, reading information from the city, but even for the managing, managing street lights, uh, managing power electricity, mm, whatever you want. And everything is separated in each MPLS uh, tunnel directly to your virtual machine on the cloud. So I think that the open control is best for, for this approach. And think about the implications that if you didn't have a technology that you will give you a centralized control plane, 
how many people will be involved to actually approve one of these changes in IoT, right? It's like different layers, you need to have li different people involved. It's gonna take months. Yeah. Now, it's some process that you can actually have one commit where you can actually have all the changes on the security, two people watch, two people approve, push the changes, and you're done. Things change in one day or even less. In our data centers, we make changes on uh, the legacy data center. It takes like two weeks minimal, right? That's a very high operational cost. You think about the new data centers, all virtualized, all controlled. It takes hours. Like security people is very happy. Networking people is like, thank you. I don't oh, have yeah, to touch yeah. boxes anymore. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. saved my life forever. So it's, it's an awesome technology. And even, you know, as you, as you think about the experience for the users here, as you said, it's just that consistency end to end, right? So it's not, you've got that reach right out to the streetlights, right? And you've got that same technology powering your private cloud or you're powering Kubernetes workloads or OpenStack workloads or bare metal workloads. So to have, you know, I think there's incredible power in that consistent story and that consistent uh, experience for the users of the system.